Joe Demers matched MSU's Ethan Small in a scoreless pitching duel into the eighth, but the Washington bullpen couldn't keep the shutout intact as UW fell to Mississippi State in their first-ever CWS game. Alex Hardy got the final two outs of the eight, stranding Jake Mangum at third base. In the ninth, State opened with back-to-back -back singles by Hunter Stovall and Elijah McNamee. Hunter Foskey tried to put down a sacrifice bunt but popped it up, allowing UW to get an out without the runners advancing. Shortstop Luke Alexander hits a deep line drive to right field that just eluded the glove of Kaiser Weiss for a hit. Stovall initially had to hold in case it was caught, but rounded third and scored with the game's only run to give the Bulldogs 38-27, 15-15 SEC, a 1-0 walk-off win. Mississippi State advances to a winner's bracket showdown with Washington, 35-25, 20-10 Pac-12 falls to the elimination bracket and will face Pac-12 rival. On Monday, Alex Hardy, 5-3, took the loss for Washington, going one inning and allowing a run on three hits. Zach Neff, 4-3, gets the win for the Bulldogs, going two-thirds of an inning and allowing a hit. Both starters were fantastic despite not many strikeouts. MSU's Ethan Small went seven innings, allowing just four hits and walking none, fanning five. He was hit by a line drive earlier in the game but stayed in, although he was shown icing in the dugout after he was removed. UW's Joe Demers went even further without a run, going seven and a third innings, giving up seven hits, one walk, intentional, and striking out two. He was extremely efficient with his pitch count, throwing just 72 pitches. Washington's best threat against Small came in the third inning. After Christian Jones struck out to lead off, Jordan Schiffer and Mason Serio hit consecutive singles to put runners at first and second. Small got called for a block to let both runners advance, then lost control of a breaking ball, hitting Braden Ward to load the bases. Nick Call made solid contact, but right at Alexander for a routine 6-4-3 double play to end the UW scoring chance. The Huskies had a chance to take the lead in their final at bat. Call hit a one-out single, chasing reliever Cole Gordon, as MSU went to get Neff to face Joe Wainhouse. Neff got Wainhouse to chase back-to-back -back sliders for a key strikeout, but Levi Jordan singled to keep the inning moving. Once again with multiple runners on, UW hit a ball right to Alexander, as Graffinino hit into an inning-ending fielder's choice. Mississippi State had 10 hits but by only 4 players. Doval and Alexander had 3 each and were involved in the only run, while McNamee and Mangum had 2 apiece. 6 different Huskies had 1 hit each, but none more than that.